Pathfinder Rider. I need to know something from you. Shoot. You've been to Gadara. You've seen the exiles there. They used to be with us. Friends, family, co-workers. A lot of us worry about them. We hear it's chaos, and it's doggy dog. It's civilized there. They have rules and systems and infrastructure, just like we do. Oh, good. Despite what happened, my heart goes out to them. Thank you for taking the time. Oh, it's Interesting. You. Thanks, Pathfinder. We're having cocktails tonight. You again. Oh, I mean... Hello. Welcome to my lab. Bar. Whatever. Oh, Dutch. Look at you, getting all used to things. Things are fine. There's people I don't like. They talk back. Maybe they can't resist your charm. I hadn't thought of that. Wait. You're messing with me, aren't you? I would never. Right. Here. Have a drink. Rotten scoundrel. Hey, now. The drink. Not you. Yeah. Things are tense around the pub. But not like that first 14 months, thanks to us. I think they raised the drink prices, though. Bastards. One villain at a time, Liam. Priorities, Pathfinder. There you are. Looking for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? You didn't leave a note. We were worried. Well, as you see, I'm fine. Uh-huh. What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Lexi, you haven't touched that bottle. Because you interrupted me. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? Since when do you care what PB thinks? It's not the first time someone told me that. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. So that's the real reason you said no to dinner. It wasn't because I'm not your type. Yes, I mean no. Don't change the subject. Is that how you think I see you? You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should... Get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Yes? What now? Are you always this rude to people walking in? Only when a mistake could kill everyone on the Nexus. What do you mean? <sighs> Hydroponics is our air. Food and water. A frail green line between us and oblivion. We almost lost it all during the mutiny. Now it's my responsibility. If you welcomed people, you'd have more hands to keep everything running. <laughs> Quite astute. If you'll forgive me, perhaps I could begin with you. I need samples of Andromeda's plant life. Our own specimens should acclimatize to them. Bring me any plants you find. You'll have a bounty in return, and my thanks. Sam, anyone nearby? Negative, Pathfinder. The vicinity is clear of all personnel. There is a blank spot in your vicinity, Pathfinder. What do you mean? I cannot see part of the room, for lack of a better term. Wait, is that what I think it is? 
That model ship was declared missing from inventory six months ago. Hmm. Pathfinder, are you putting the box back? Finders keepers. Cash, I'm not sure what we can do here. We've got the system stabilized for now, but we're going to need to reroute power soon. We could lose some stasis pods if we don't. The data pad is password locked. Shall I run a decryption? Seems worth the risk. Do it. Accessing audio locks. Play the first one. Tan is starting to get along with Vetra's replacement a little too well. Better do something about it. Play the second one. Remind Addison that the Krogan all left. Keep her unhappy. Play the third one. Stay away from What's-His-Face in charge of the first colony. If he thought I was messing with Addison, he could be serious trouble. Thanks, Sam. Meeting notes for Director Tan. Engineering has requested resources we don't have yet again. In particular, repairs to non-essential systems. I'm having doubts in Kesh's ability to prioritize tasks appropriately. Perhaps you should look under or behind the furnishings, Pathfinder. Rebreather components, power cells, dried food... Scanning the labels, many of these boxes were reported missing. Interference is preventing scanner function. You will need to rely on more basic means to search these quarters. What do we have here? What's this? I cannot scan what you're holding, Pathfinder. It's somehow blocking me, as a scrambler might. Sounds like a job for a comms expert. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which one is genuine. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest will be on you. I can handle it. So it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. Occupational hazard. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not likely after this. You'll have to research the Ghost Storm technology to start. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the Ket learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. Welcome to the Cultural Exchange Center. Cultural Center. Please, have a, look Please around. have a look around. Pathfinder, I'm glad you could stop by. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity of people. What do you think of the Angara? I'm thrilled to meet a new culture. They're cautious, but I understand why. If someone showed up on our doorstep in the Milky Way, we'd be skeptical too. I hope we can win them over, cement a friendship. I suppose that's on you, Pathfinder. How did you get this job? I was a sociologist in the Milky Way. While there were plenty of cultures to study, the books on them had all been written. There was nothing new I could add. 
So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. The idea of meeting new people, seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges, I couldn't resist. What goes on here? The Cultural Center is a place where new races we've met can visit and exchange ideas. They can learn more about the Milky Way species, while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. You've already brought us our first visitors by making contact with the Angara. So, the Kroken. The sword. Have you heard anything about the Ket? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Thanks. Of course. In the meantime, have a look around. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor I'd like to ask. Same as our ice drops, conceptually, but with different ingredients and flavors. Pathfinder, do you have a moment? We, uh, need to explain you. I'm gonna be rich. Explain me? How, exactly? Our new VI over there is meant to describe the role of our Pathfinders, but it just lost all its settings in a crash. If you could fix them, that would really help us out. Just talk to the VI, and it'll do the rest. Thanks. Of course. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friends. Welcome back. Hello there, neighbor. I'm Gian Garson, the founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Okay. Great. If you're seeing this, it means our Pathfinders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arcs arrive in your neighborhood probably raised some concerns. I'm happy to address them. What are you planning to do in this galaxy? Great question. I'd be worried about that too. I can assure you, we have no hostile intentions whatsoever. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing just that. Why did you leave the Milky Way? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was a call to adventure I could not resist. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. This is Ark Hyperion, one of several ships that made the long voyage from the Milky Way galaxy to Andromeda. The thousands of colonists aboard have come in peace, united by their dream of a better life in your beautiful galaxy. You need not fear their arrival. We are all citizens of the universe, eager to be your friend. This is an outpost for Milky Way colonists arriving in your galaxy. They come seeking a fresh start in Andromeda, yearning only for a land they can call home. If you encounter an outpost, feel free to drop by and say hello. Your new neighbors are eager to make friends. Don't hesitate to speak with one of our friendly peace ambassadors. Hello there. I'm a human being. If you'd like to know more about my people, just ask. Okay. Good to hear. Humanity is a diverse species. You may notice different skin colors or religious beliefs among our people. Yet we don't let those differences come between us. We'd rather celebrate our diversity rather than fight over it. Where do you come from? Humans come from a planet called Earth. It's a beautiful blue world with everything from oceans to jungles, snowy mountain peaks to deserts. 
It's also an oasis of biological diversity. Scientists calculate Earth contains nearly 9 million unique animal and plant species. What's human history like? Humanity is a young people compared to many of the other Milky Way races. We didn't discover spaceflight until much later. But what we lack in age, we make up for with enthusiasm and a pioneer spirit. We'd like to think we can teach our fellow travelers a few new tricks. I'm glad you stopped by. Next time you see a human, ask about ice cream. It's one of the many great things we bring to Andromeda. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Initiative. On behalf of the Nexus... Greetings, I'm inhabitant of Andromeda. I'm a Solarian. I'd be pleased to tell you more about my species. Okay. Solarians are considered among the brightest scientific minds of the Milky Way. We're known for our quick thinking, technological savvy, and intellectual powers of deduction. Where do you come from? Solarians originate from a world known as Rakesh. It's a tropical planet covered with oceans and rainforests. As an amphibious species, we're at home in Rakesh's lush jungles. But with our technological advancements, we can adapt to nearly any environment. We look forward to studying the wonders of Andromeda and the rich diversity our galaxy has to offer. What's Solarian history like? Cooperating with the Asari, we were the second species in the Milky Way to help form a galactic government, the Citadel Council. From time to time, we also guided other species, such as the Krogan, to better channel their natural gifts towards worthy pursuits. It's our belief that the careful application of science and intellect is the key to improving the quality of life for all. It's been my pleasure. Rest assured, the people of Andromeda have nothing to fear from Solarians.